Today I'm going to show you guys how to create the Iron Man's Mark 42 Mailbox here in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So this is going to be the official and last video about a Mark 42 Mailbox here in Minecraft Bedrock Edition, okay? But before we start, before we get right into our video, you know the drill. Give a like in this video if you do like this video. Also hit subscribe button right now down below and slap that notification bell icon and always be notified every time we upload such video and stuff, okay? But anyhow, let's go right into it and let's get started. Alright, so there are a lot of parts in Iron Man command box, but first I'm gonna show you guys the cool suit command, which actually the official cool suit command, which actually we're gonna use a remote enable to automatically suit up in this Iron Man command box. So we have your armor 1, armor 2, armor 3, armor 4, which we use to spawn, or which we use command box to spawn there. And the next thing we do is we're gonna sweep them up using all this variety of command box depends on what command you put on it. So I actually put mine iron helmet and golden chest plate right in this command box. And we're gonna use this separate command enable to um, make the armor stand right in there invisible because we don't want them to be visible or to be seen. And I mean look at this, we put them invisible and it is much more better with the armor stand being seen. Alright, so the basic thing to do is we need this tagging command, which actually the main reason why all this command box work. So we're gonna have to tag ourselves and add into Tony Stark, so we're gonna put Tony on it, okay? Repeat on shell and it rest an equal lever and click it just once, you know, just once. And this is the first command of the suit up command, which we use the remote suit up, so test for at the type of item equals call underscore suit, which we actually rename any kind of item into call underscore suit. For example, we grab here. E polish black i black stone button and we actually rename it using an anvil into e call underscore suit and once you drop it or once you use it it automatically um call the armor right into you and you're gonna do like automatic wear up which is pretty dope actually so we're gonna flick this command and we have your arrest and parter and this one is a tree um command block file app and this redstone i mean this repeater command we can execute at the type cause armor underscore stand turtle tp at 3 r 0.5 facing tag at a tony repeat uncle and need redstone okay and this one is the particle which we use knockback underscore roll underscore particle to the armor stand so the commands are pretty long so don't worry about it i'm gonna have to put a link in the description where we repeat all the commands so you can copy paste it okay and this one is an, another particle which we use malflame underscore single since we used a knockback underscore or particle from the last time, okay? You put it to chain anchor shell and always active this time. And I want to add some one particle which we use to uh, destroy, I mean the dragon destroy underscore black which is very useful actually. It makes things much more realistic. So we're gonna put execute at the tab because I'm our underscore stand, trade the particle minecraft. And we put this dragon underscore destroy underscore block and space then tree tilde. And don't forget the two at the middle of the coordinates and put it to chain anchor shell and always active, okay? Alright, let's move on to the another command. So this one we're gonna have to flick this thing first on all of this. So there are actually four types of it, which are actually the helmet, chest, um, legs, and lastly the feet. So I'm gonna have to showcase first before I'm gonna show you the commands in that four um separate command which are actually pretty useful for this call seed command. So I'm gonna do first I'm gonna put myself to the third person view and I'm gonna have to drop the button which we rename into call suit. So you can actually use any kind of items and rename it into call suit. And here we go. Let me drop and as you can see the armor stand are coming right into you with all those particle effects and boom automatic wear up. Okay. It's cool, not gonna lie, but it's pretty laggy too, to be honest. If you have a potato phone, you're gonna be pretty laggy, especially if you twist or are gonna do a low mistake in the command, it makes things very laggy. Alright, since I already showcased the cold suit remote command block part, so I'm gonna have to show you guys this command block or this part of the command which you use for the helmet, chest, um, legs, and the feet, okay? And for our helmet, is we have here your P uncle and your redstone. And we have your execute at in name cause armor 1. Test a uh, trigger test for at a tie cost Tony, comma to the radius of 0.5. So, especially you have to remember remember the armor one part, okay? The armor one part is actually pretty useful because when you see the other part, is actually armor two, armor three, and armor four. And this repeating command, you're gonna put execute at a tie cost Tony, which actually gonna kill the armor stand 
every time it go near into you or every time or after the automatic um, automatic wear up you are actually gonna kill the armor stand that came near to you and I'm gonna put a resin torch in this so you're gonna have to remember this is very important okay put a resin torch to the side or behind that command and I'm gonna put like command block in this tab which actually gonna use the iron underscore helmet so yeah don't worry about that because I'm gonna show you the um, command later to the link in the description okay and this part is as you can see we put armor 2 in this part and this part uh, 8 tag was 22 radius of 0 0.5 and this part is the same from the other part which actually just gonna kill the armor stand whenever it came near into you and this part is as you can see it's not ahead anymore we put slot point armor on point chest zero golden underscore chest plate so it's very specific okay so you better make sure to make things specific and this part is execute at e name calls armor three so it's armor three three to let this part at a tag of standard radius of 0.5 once again resin comparator and this part is the same command block which is gonna kill the armor stand whenever it came near into you or after the wear up so yeah basically we put functional and need rest on this part as you can see we put iron helmet and chest and this part we put slot point armor point legs zero iron underscore leggings okay so you can use any kind of armor so I put mine like the same to the Mark 42 right to the movie of Iron Man 4. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's Iron Man 3. Bruh. So execute at a name cause armor 4, turtle that, so yeah, blah blah blah. It's armor 4 in that part. And this part is still the same, blah blah blah. And let's move on directly. And this part is very important. Flat point armor point with zero golden underscore boots. So as you can see, it's different from the other three. So yeah, impose unctional and need rest on. And our invisibility command is the basic of all basic command. Effect at the type cause armor underscore stand close bracket invisibility space one space one space two, um chain uncontrol I mean repeat uncontrol and need rest on. So let me put a lever in that part, okay? And also this part. So let me rename this command. So we're gonna use it for the repulsor ray, okay? We're gonna rename it into repulsor and uh, space ray, and uh, yeah. So this is the repulsor ray. So first we're gonna do the scoreboard command enable to make things to make the objectives we put add shoot time dummy so you're gonna limit the range of the command block or it's gonna limit the range of the repulsor ray which um remove the lag or to prevent any lag on everything okay but first let me come back in here i never show you the command and this how to zoom in all this armor stand so yeah it's pretty little basic super basic zoom in armor underscore stand armor one which is gonna remain the armor stand to tilde 1 tilde and this two part is gonna put armor 2 to tilde 1 tilde and this part is armor 3 to tilde 1 tilde and lastly is the armor 4 to tilde 1 tilde pretty easy right i mean everyone can do this we put um actually just put a repeater in the part a redstone and also a lever to just one click command and everything will zoom in all right back to the repulsor array command so i already show you the scoreboard so you have to flick it like flick it just once again okay? and we have your the repulsor array and let me flick this one up and that one is probably just a glitch so yeah all right so this command is pretty tricky and i'm gonna use an item so we're gonna use a renamed item and able to activate this one for example we use this uh snowball so we use a snowball and rename it using an anvil into ray so capital letter R, then small letter A Y and Ray. So let's separate it in our inventory since we only need one shoot at a time since this is like some sort of bullet. So as you can see, if I drop it and that is the repulsor ray, which you can actually see the armor stand for a second in there. But the cool part of this repulsor ray is the knockback effects. The knockback effects actually gonna knock the uh, mobs or the target right with the repulsor ray and it give a real big damage like a weather effects which we use in there as you can see if i do this you can actually carry multiple mobs at a time as long as it is at the perfect range and a perfect aim which is actually pretty cool and dope as you can see this so yeah that's it for our repulsor ray so all to do is dr drop the item it doesn't matter what kind of how you drop it as you can see it actually keeps shooting the repulsor ray to the surroundings so yeah basically all you have to do is drop and there you go that is the repulsor ray and it's not that hard to use all right so let's go right into the command so the command is pretty long i don't know how many it is it's possibly be at like 19 commands so yeah all right so let me use a sword so we don't want to break any parts of this command so first we have your execute at e type cause item name cause ray close bracket three to the tag at a add donny Put your P actual and in resident and this part is gonna summon the armor underscore stand which we rename into ray 
put it to chain and crucial and always active. And this part is gonna TP or gonna swing when the armor stand right to you 1.5 facing right to the add people or the added person and gonna kill the item name equals right. So don't worry if you don't get catch up because I'm just gonna put the link in the description which is all the commands. And this one is gonna TP the ray right into the target which is a multiple like armor stand get zoom and that one. So this one is gonna execute name equals ray, you're gonna give a particle and run the 3 arrow, 2 arrow, 1 space then 1 arrow. So basically this one actually have 5 types of commands. So as you can see it actually have the same commands but different coordinates. So check out the coordinates. So this time we put 1 and negative 0.2 and this part is we have here 1 and negative 0.4. So they, they are all still the same commands but different coordinates because we're just going to put particle net. And this part is 0.2 and to the next one is 0.4. As you can see it still have the same command but different coordinates. And this one is going to execute name equals ray 3 arrow tp at e type cause armor underscore stand to reduce to 1.5 then close bracket at s and this part is going to put wait this part going to put the wither effects which is going to put to the armor stand is going to kill all the maps when every every time it got hit by repulsor ray going to give them a wither effects which leads them to their death overall it's pretty simple the logic behind the repulsor ray and this part you're gonna make the armor stand or which we rename the ray into invisibility and that part has different one this one is gonna limit the power shoot time of the array so you're gonna kill name ray scores then shoot time 101 close bracket and yeah basically this part is gonna put the scoreboard players add at the name cause ray shoot time space one which actually gonna limit the range of our repulse array and this part is pretty long, so you're gonna put execute at in equals right to the kill at e type equals armor underscore stand, which is actually gonna give the limit, so blah blah blah, and everything has the same reason in it. Tag at the remove Tony and put the play sound beacon point at the activate at A. It's just the sound whenever we um use the pulse array, you're gonna give a sound like boom, just like that, like some sort of alien sound, okay. And this part is still the same for the sound, but different coordinate, we put 3 to the 6 and space 2. So yeah, basically it's pretty simple and if you didn't get most of the commands, I know you guys didn't get most of the commands because they actually make it fast because it's pretty long commands and there's still a lot of commands. I don't want to make the video pretty long. There's actually a link in the description where we put our commands so you can copy paste it. Alright, so let's go right move into the landing and the launch effects of our Mark 42 command. So in our flight command, we're going to need a wooden sword and a leather boot. So it doesn't actually matter what kind of sword and what kind of boot. So for me, I'm just gonna like want to do it like little boots and this one is gonna enchant you to the feather falling So that actually the landing mode. So let's go to the launch system of our command, okay? So first that is the landing. Let's go to the launch or do the flight effects So you put enchant at a tag was Tony sharpness one. So let me rename it into launch and fly launch fly <laughs> So we're gonna put it to launch fly just like that, okay? So basically what we're gonna do is um I'm gonna put the command which we're gonna put in chat at a sharpness tag goes Tony and this one is feather falling so it's still the same one but before I'm gonna show you guys the command let me show you how to use all of this so far so we have here our um command box and as you can see this is our armor so let me show you my armor to the front perspective view and here you go so yeah this is our armor this is the mark 42 armor and this is our also ray which is pretty dope which is the basic um weapons of iron man and next up is we have here our flight mode and launch system so many of you asked me to do the mayfly command so yeah it's actually mayfly command but i like this one more because it actually have a boost effects which actually gonna give much more speed in terms of flight so you can't control the um like horizontal mode in doing this flight by actually pretty cool for the launch system and for the flight system so as you can see you can control it by switching two tools at a time which is the wooden sword and the boots so yeah pretty much more it's epic i just put like a normal effects or a normal particle net which is the mob flame i don't want to add any much more effects so yeah so it's gonna make like super like like super scop and super stretchy and our back perspective view as you can see is pretty normal and yeah so you're gonna put the launch system, the particle may be a little annoying, it depends on you if you want to remove it, you can actually just remove the particle effects of the knockback in times of landing. And there you go, alright, so let's go right into our commands, okay? We Alright, so let's move into our commands. Alright, let's turn them off 
first and there we go so this is the landing and i don't know but we're gonna do for our lunch fly first so we have your in chat at a tag ghost on the sharpness one once again so this is gonna put it to repeat optional and need redstone so we're gonna hold the sword and able to activate the one and we put racing to the right to the right, to the right side and this one is the email file app so we're gonna give you a fake at the limitation to the tag since you are being tagged as tony repeat optional and need redstone and this part is exit at the tag as tony Try the particle Minecraft Mouth Flame underscore single, which is the fire effects. And yeah, basically if you flick this one on, hold the sword, you you can fly. Just like that, you give you levitation effect and you can fly. Very simple. Very normal, okay? Nothing nothing special, nothing more. So this part is gonna be a resistant torch, and this part is a resistant uh, part to the right to uh next side of the torch. And this one is an impulse command, we're gonna put effect at a tag goes on it clear. We're just gonna clear all the effects so we can land or we can take all the effects. Every time we, you know, don't want to use the launch system. At this part, you're going to put enchant at the tag of Tony, feather underscore falling, space 1. Repeat actual and need reston, and this one is erasing team partner. And we have your effect at the tag of Tony, slow underscore falling, space 1, space 1, space 2. And this one is the execute at a tag of Tony, to till the negative 2, till the particle Minecraft neck back, underscore roar, underscore particle, chain unusual and always active every time we try to land and take off the flight system. But overall, everything has been on set, so let me take our turn of that one command. And let's move on to one of the strongest weapons that we only had, which is the heat seeking missile here in our Iron Man Mark 42 suit. And this part is actually gonna give you a real heat seeking missile here in Minecraft. Very real. So, what we're gonna do is gonna get your spawn eggs and able to um, activate the power. So, I'm gonna put, or I mean, activate the weapon. So, you're gonna put the spawn egg. You can, you may choose any kind of mobs. It's a spawn egg, so let me use the blaze in this time. So I want to do like the gust, no? Or we can just use the blaze, okay? So what we're gonna do is go right in an inventory and rename this spawn egg into missile. Very simple, just missile. So I don't want to put hit seeking missile stuff. Very specific, very specific, because it might take a very long time to write it. So you put missile on it, and what I shall do is um spawn the missile. And I'm gonna hit seek or gonna find its own target as long as it can find its own target It won't be gonna rest. It's gonna be very restless as long as it find its target as you can see You wanna seek or gonna find any target he can find nearby to kill it And the missile won't be despawn or won't be vanished as long as it finds its own target So it doesn't matter what kind of mobs or what kind of target as long as it kills somebody before it disappear and it can rest in peace so that's actually how the um so that actually how the um heat seeking missile though there's a problem in the heat seeking missile system so actually as you can see if i put it, them to different position and get a like kill one mob it's gonna kill all the mobs and sometimes it won't gonna just gonna die but knock back rock right to a different direction and try to find another target so let me spawn a lot of them so we actually have like four i guess and as you can see, all of them just go right into the ship and kill it. So we have two remaining missile and boom, four ship, two missile at one ship. Very poor. Uh, wait, there's still another one. Wait, there's still another one. So let me spawn this one and let's see who killed it. Oh, there's still one. We have one last one and let, let, let's give it a target so it can rest in peace. And there we have it. So that is our hit second missile. Pretty simple and pretty easy to do. Basically, the command is very short. The first command which I, I which I actually do in this one is pretty much more long and I wanna do like enhance it to make it short. As you can see to execute at the name cost missile, DP 0 0.3 facing tag Tony, type cost item, name cost missile, register of 999, C equals 1. As you can see I put exclamation mark before Tony and the item and the missile. So it won't gonna affect or it won't gonna target me. So if you execute at the name cost missile turtle DP to the 0 0.5. So it's very important to put like to the 0 0.5 or 0 0.3. I just want to put execute at a name called missile particle, which is the particle effects, okay? So dragon underscore destroy and block. And this part is the mob flames uh, single particle and put two tilde, then two, then without space to another tilde, okay? And chain option and always active. And this part is the another invisibility effect for the um mobs which we were named to missile. And yeah, we have your resin comparator and four resin repeater you can add like one more repeater like five resin repeater before we put this or before we input this command 
So take a screenshot of this command, it's pretty long, I'm not gonna say it, but I'm gonna zoom on an ender crystal whenever it finds its target to make it explode like boom. So I'm just gonna make it short, okay? I'm just gonna make it short, it's a pretty long command, I would say that. Impulse, uncrystal, and the redstone, so yeah. Probably that would be it for Amar 42, so we only have like like three types of system or four types of system which is the full suit the arm repulse ray the flight system and the hit seeking missile but anyhow guys thank you for watching this video hope you enjoy and if you do like the video give a like subscribe and slap that notification bell you can always be notified every time we upload such video and stuff okay and if you do enjoy it follow me at facebook follow my twitter my TikTok and my other YouTube channel. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Love you all. Peace out. Bye. -bye. I'm gonna see you next time. This video is way too long for me. I would say that honestly, it's 20 minutes. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Bye bye, and see you next time. Okay, peace out.